Today, I'm going to meet the one and only Sadi Khan. So today is Roots campaigning and let's meet some people, come on. What is the key issue that Labour is going to win the election? Some South Africans are thinking that Labour leaves in the seat. What do you think? Well, thank you very much for being a journalist and thank you very much for what you do. I'm here to support Ruth Cadbury who uh, has been the Member of Parliament for the last two years for Brentford and Isleworth. And it's really important we support good Labour candidates because they're the ones who are going to stand up for the NHS, hospitals. They're the ones that are going to stand up for schools. Uh, they're the ones that are going to stand up for the police. They're the ones that are going to stand up to fix the air in London. And so I'm hoping that Ruth and others win. But you people watching this have got to vote for, if they live in Brentford and Isleworth, Ruth Cadbury, or around London, uh, around the country, Labour. That we should be looking after the many, not the few. And you know, the Tories may have the money, the Tories may have a sympathetic media, but every single one of you, every single one of you are part of our secret weapon. You are the reason why I'm confident we can win on June the 8th here in Brentford and Isleworth, because you know what? Over the last two years, you've had a mighty fine Member of Parliament. She is, uh, isn't she? Yes, yeah. she is. She, she is. has worked her socks off on the side of local schools, on the side of the local NHS, on the side of local police, on the side of local communities. And you know, it's really important between now and 10 p.m. on June the 8th, every single one of us does everything we can to make sure Ruth Cadbury is re elected the Member of Parliament for Brentford Nisworth. But it ain't going to be easy. Yeah. There is a very good reason why three years early, uh, Theresa May called an early general election. There's a very good reason. Because she saw the polls and she thought if she wins a landslide victory, if she has a three-seat majority, it gives her the autonomy to negotiate an extreme hard Brexit, which will affect our jobs, growth and prosperity. She realised if she gets a big majority, it gives her the chance to make further cuts to the National Health Service. She realised if she gets a bigger majority, she, will, she can cut even more money from schools in London, even more money from the police in London. Now, I have a simple question for you. Are we going to let her? No! no. Are we going to let her get an increased majority by defeating Ruth here? No! no. Are we going to allow the return of the Tory MP here? No! no. no. Campaigning already um, and we do this because this is a really, really marginal constituency. I only won it only two years ago by 465 votes. Um, and nationally, because the polls aren't looking great for us, we have to really, really work every vote we can. Um, I hope that my record since I've been uh, an MP and my record in Hounslow before that uh, is enough. Uh, plus what we stand for, our Labour values, our Labour policies, um, is, uh, we hope that that is enough to get us over the line. And of course, what the Tories have done, pe more and more people who are sw swing voters are realising what a Tory government means. More and more people, particularly on estates like Benson Close here, are seeing the impact of the rollout of universal credit, yes. that they fa even if they're working, they're struggling to make ends meet. Uh, pensioners and people uh, that they're suffering as the cost of living is rising the loss of care for those who are getting frail and need extra care support. We're seeing the cuts in our schools, aren't we, James? Yes. Um, we're, and we're losing teachers and teaching assistants, and some schools are talking about having to uh, uh, have fewer, uh, be open for fewer hours, etc., etc. And then the damaging implications for Brexit for the whole country but not least of all for us in Hounslow and West London. So many people losing their jobs or their jobs are uncertain. Some of the employers are talking about moving to Europe. Then what? Jubilee24.com and please visit www.jubilee24.com Uttarajya News Portal, jubilee24.com Online, a bishop is hung with the